Are the rich and wealthy people just good with money, or is there a deeper brilliance to their success? The world's top 80 wealthiest people control around $1.9 trillion, which also happens to be the amount held by 3.5 billion people on the other end of the spectrum. Can you believe that? Many people wonder how rich people became rich in a world of ordinary people and average income. Who doesn't like to be wealthy so that they may quit working, go on crazy shopping sprees, and take unending vacations? Living and enjoying every minute of life without being worried about money. However, when building their wealth rich people avoid most of these things which is how they build and maintain their wealth. The rich understand how money works, and instead of living a life of careless spending, which will quickly drain even a wealthy person's bank account, live for long-term financial independence and wealth. The self-made rich are not the brightest individuals on the earth, rather, they have mastered several key concepts that help them build and maintain wealth. Most significantly, the wealthy view money as a talent that can be learned and practiced in order to keep their fortune. To become a rich, you must do these 10 smart things the rich do that the poor don't. Welcome to Genius 1. The rich believe in the law of income. The rich believe that they will be paid in direct proportion to the value that they deliver to the marketplace. In other words, if they are integral in forming a product that nearly everyone in the world needs, then they should be compensated accordingly. Poor people believe that we should all be paid the same amount, regardless of the outcome that we produce. With this mentality, innovation would likely cease to exist and the poor would still be poor, and on top of this everyone else would be poor along with them. I don't know about you, but this is not the future I want for my children. 2. The rich focus on opportunities, not obstacles. There once was a shoe salesman that found himself in a faraway country, trying to sell shoes to the natives. The only problem was, nobody there wore shoes and the sale was often quite difficult. The salesman soon gave up in frustration and decided to leave the area. On his way out, he met another shoe salesman. Don't bother entering this town, said the first salesman, these people don't even wear shoes. The eyes of the second salesman grew wide, no one has shoes. Then I could sell a pair to everyone in town. How fortunate we are to stumble upon an untapped market. It's all a matter of perspective. The poor often see obstacles and quickly give up, while the rich see that the opportunities and enter arenas that many wouldn't dream of. 3. The rich associate with positive, successful people. Rich people know that attitude is everything. If they continually hang out with people that complain about the weather, badmouth the government, and speak negatively about the state of the economy, then they will likely start doing the same thing. If, however, these same people start hanging around individuals that continuously talk about success, opportunity, and the positive things in life, chances are that they will see the world from an entirely different perspective. Instead of the world being a terrible place to live, it suddenly becomes a glowing land of success and opportunity. A great example of this is United States citizens versus immigrants into the States. Immigrants are for times more likely to become millionaires than those that grew up here. The main reason, we talk about the negatives of living in this nation, while immigrants see it as the land of opportunity. Quite frankly, it is what you make of it. 4. The rich are willing to promote themselves and their value. Rich people aren't afraid to tell you what they're great at. Most of the time, they aren't embellishing. It's the truth. Poor people might be great at many things, but they always seem to downplay them into nothing, either because they think negatively of salespeople, or because they're not confident in themselves. Therefore, you assume their skills are just that, nothing. If you want to be wealthy, you must learn how to become a salesperson, and at the very least, sell yourself. 5. The rich grow bigger than their problems. The poor see a problem and they chalk it up to bad luck and quit trying. The rich run into problems and might scratch their heads for a while, but they don't give up. They'll work and work until they discover a solution to the problem so they can win in the end. A few years ago I heard a compelling story that fits this idea perfectly. There was a plot of land for sale that had always been classified as residential. Many investors in the area knew that the value of the property would be worth 25 times the selling price if the property were commercial, but many had tried and failed at this appeal. So the property remained for sale at a severely discounted price. But then one brave woman took on the challenge. She purchased the property, hired a team of lawyers, and after a few months of painstaking efforts, 
was able to get the land classified as a commercial property. Even with the cost of the team of lawyers, she earned 20 times her investment, in just a few months mind you. By tackling and overcoming the problem, she became a very wealthy lady. 6. The rich think both, the poor think either or. Economists came up with the term, opportunity cost, long ago. Put simply, this means that if you choose one thing, then you are ultimately foregoing something else. In other words, if I have $5 and I buy an $5 ice cream cone, then I am ultimately giving up that pack of gum that I wanted as well. This is how poor people think too. They have a set amount of money, and they think that they can either spend it one thing or another, but not both. It sounds logical, doesn't it? But the rich focus on how they can get both. Let's give a rich person $5. They too want both ice cream and a $5 pack of gum, but instead of thinking either or, they decide to go for both. To do this, the rich mindset would not buy the ice cream or the gum initially, but might instead buy a 24 pack of water for $5. They walk down the road a ways, sell each water bottle to passersby for 50 cents, and earn a total of $12. Now they can enjoy their ice cream, gum, and still have $2 left to spare. The rich have a both mentality, not either or. 7. The rich focus on net worth, not working income. Poor people often talk in terms of hourly pay, whereas wealthy people know that an hourly income is not nearly as important as someone's net worth. One can earn quite a lot of money per hour, but if they don't learn to keep any of it, they will still be broke in the end. The rich person knows that a large net worth will net many opportunities and will create more wealth in the future. 8. The rich constantly learn and grow. Many kids today think that they'll be able to work just hard enough to earn their degrees, and then they won't have to pick up another book for the rest of their lives. They might turn this dream into a reality, but they'll likely be poor forever. The rich starve for knowledge because they know that the more they learn, the more likely they are to succeed. The average millionaire reads one non-fiction book a month because they want to grow themselves into the person that they want to be. The average broke person will read nothing and will never change. As I like to say, the rich constantly learn and grow, and the poor think they already know. 9. The rich don't mind taking the hard road. The wealthy don't mind taking the hard road because they have a long-term mindset. The current life might be difficult, but they know their actions today could benefit them tremendously in the future, so they trudge along and keep their eye on the future prize. By staying focused and doing the things the rich do, many of them will become successful and wealthy as well. 10. Rich people take responsibility for their own failures. For poor people, there's always someone to blame for their shortcomings. They don't own up to their mistakes and never learn from the mistakes. This is what differentiates the rich from the poor. Rich people take up the responsibility for their own failures and use it to learn how to become better and improve what they are doing. In doing so, they improve the results that they can accomplish and in turn, improve their own self-worth. This also results in them making more money after learning from their mistakes. But the poor blame their failures on everything from the government to a faulty car or damaged phone or the bus. The poor give excuses like, the economy is bad and my boss doesn't like me, or the government screwed things up. Excuses are nothing more than excuses, they do not fix the problem, but rather put the blame on other people. The rich know if their life is a complete mess, it's their fault, not anyone else's. That's why you'll see the poor keep blaming someone for their shortcomings while the rich take responsibility for their actions. We realize that there are situations for many of the poor that put them at a disadvantage in one way or another, and not everyone has the luxury or desire to pick themselves up. There is no specific timetable leading to wealth, but statistics state that following some simple rules can turn into positive habits, which can turn into positive results, which can lead you on a path to financial wealth. Just know that if you follow the advice shared by the wealthy, that these success tips can get you one step closer to the lifestyle you desire and deserve. If you enjoyed today's video please give us a like. To ensure that you never miss a new upload, click the bell icon. And yes, don't forget to subscribe.